adesso di Sword King.
of the gutters. Steal your bellies. This slaughter is at hand. he was. Twice as big and twice as stupid as I. 
I butchered the butcher, and many like him. Earned my way, kill by kill, out of the awful pit and into the grand arena. I thought I would find wealth and glory in the arena. I was wrong. I found something far more precious. My Lady Merveille. strike and kill the man with his own dagger. Fighting had always been about survival, the primal instinct to kill or be killed. Now, the fight became about something else. Love.
the previous King of Swords was a giant of a man, both faster and stronger than I. Yet I needed only look up at my Lady Merveille to know that I had no choice. I could not die this day. I made him shiver under every parry, striking with all of my might so that my arms felt they might snap with every impact. All the while, I studied his face, watching for that moment when he began to doubt. It took an hour, but finally it was there. Burning with pain, empty with exhaustion, I stepped inside his faltering swing and I slit the giant's throat. I did not take my victory bow. I knelt in the sun, looked to Merveille, and cried out for my lady's hand in marriage. From that day forth, I wore the crown of swords upon my head and the ring of eternal love upon my finger. Fury and desire together again. Lovely and lovely. Facets so shiny, replete with the vim of murdered souls. My Amalekai did the crafting. 
beautiful work. General Aedis did the murdering. Equally beautiful work, in its own juicy way. Num Num's time, my little rapture. Have you ever been to the end of the world before, my king? Asked the blackest monkey. No, I have not, realized the monkey king. There is my reason to go where you go, be where you be, my king, concluded the blackest monkey in a voice as warm and welcoming as death. Do you know who wrote that? Not a cockroach? Victario Navalius, the people's poet of Sam. He was my friend, and I betrayed him. Took his love and burned it before his eyes. Now I am betrayed. My heart burned black by the one man I loved. Malachi. He's found a new heart, you see. A beast's heart to cuddle up to. To keep him warm and safe at the end of the world. Today, I remind Malachi of his betrayal. Today, it is his turn to burn. Malachi's devices, his creations, he loved them all, not me. He betrayed me then, said he loved me, then said he wanted me to die. He betrays me now, let me suffer, let me wither. Am I the one and only mistake that you ever made, Malachi? Yes, that's me. Diala, the Gemling Queen. Malachi's misdemeanor. Make him regret his mistake. Not a cockroach. Tear open the beast's black heart. Rip Malachi from his filthy little nightmare. Cut him. Crush him. Burn him from existence. He deserves no better. And I deserve no worse. No love for me. No love. No love. No love. Is that in your eyes? That glistening, that softness? Is that pity? Take those pitying eyes away before I pluck them from your face. I need but one thing from you now. Malachi. Dead. Take this. I've given everything else to him. My youth and beauty. My body and mind. My heart. And at last, the only thing he ever gave to me in return. My gemling power. This is all I have left. I entrust it to you. Not a cockroach. Malachi taught me not to trust anyone. It is time to forget everything that Malachi taught me.